Ngayon naman, I'm gonna help you walk through the steps on performing hypothesis testing for two sample mean. Sa step number one natin, kailangan natin isulat yung ating mga hypotheses. So this time, since dalawa yung ating sample mean, meron tayo ngayong dalawang parameters na gagamitin. Yun yung mu1 and mu2. So kailangan sa pagsulat nyo ng step one, kailangan yung i-define kung ano yung mu1 nyo or yung mu2 ninyo. And then after defining your mu1 and mu2, your null hypothesis can be written as mu1 is equal to mu2. At ang inyo namang alternative hypothesis will be an inequality, which you can use mu1 is greater than mu2, mu1 or less, less than mu2, or mu sub 1 is not equal to mu sub 2. Now, depende yung mga inequalities nyo, syempre kung paano hahanapin or kung ano yung hinihingi doon sa word problem. Now, for step number 2 sa conditions nyo, kailangan yung Tingnan or basahing mabuti kung una, yung pa parehong samples ba eh normally distributed o kung pag ginawa nyo siya sa graph, kailangan hindi siya skewed. Now, yung number two naman, kung yung samples ba ninyo, yung dalawang samples nyo was randomly taken. At syempre, yung pangatlo, kailangan masatisfy nyo rin kung independent siya, which is the big N should be greater than 10 times your sample size. Now, yung step number three, gagamitan natin siya ngayon ng formula. At since yung example natin ngayon, yung sigma is not given or unknown, ang gagamitin natin is yung t-test. So, sa step number three, alam natin yung general form ng hypothesis testing is statistic minus parameter all over the standard deviation of your statistic. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin for today. T is equal to mean sub 1 minus mean sub 2 all over the square root of standard deviation of your sample squared all over the first sample, your number in sample nyo, plus S sub 2 squared all over N. At pagka nakuha nyo na yung test statistic nyo using this formula, you can now um, use your step number 4 which is comparing your um p-value doon sa significance level. At sa pagkuhan naman ng p-value, parehas pa rin ang gagamitin natin. Kailangan natin kunin yung calculator natin or yung table of values natin for t para makuha natin yung area under the curve or yung p-value. So yung step number 5 natin is kung i-reject ba natin or hindi yung null hypothesis. So yan yung mga steps na gagamitin natin today para sa paggawa or pag uh, kuha ng hypothesis testing ng true sample mean. Sa example natin na to, Damien believes that new reading activities in the classroom will help elementary school pupils improve their reading ability. He arranges for a third grade class of 21 students to follow these activities for an eight-week period. And then a control classroom of 23 third graders follows the same curriculum without the activities. Now, at the end of the eight weeks, all students are given the degree of reading power, or DRP test, which measures the aspect of reading ability that the treatment is designed to improve. Now, let's test at five significance level if Damon's new activity for the treatment group improves the student's reading ability. Now, at ito yung ating mga hypotheses. So yung step number one, kailangan natin i-define yung ating mu sub 1 at saka mu sub 2. So yung mu sub 1 natin will be the mean DRP test scores nung ating treatment group or yung nakakuha or gumagamit nung new activity para sa improvement noong kanilang reading ability. Now, yung mu sub 2 naman, yun naman yung mean DRP test scores natin para sa control group, which means hindi natin sila ginamitan noong uh, bagong activity para ma-improve or i-test kung mag improve na yung kanilang reading, reading ability. So, yung ating null hypothesis, null hypothesis will be mu sub 1 equal to mu sub 2, which means walang pagbabago doon sa mean score noong treatment group at ng control group. So, parehas lang siya. At yung alternative hypothesis naman, we need to test if mu sub 1 is greater than mu sub 2. So, kung ang scores ng treatment group ay mas mataas doon sa test score or mean test scores ng control group. Now, sa step 2, kailangan natin ma makita or masatisfy yung mga conditions. So, babalikan natin uli kung ano ba yung mga results or yung data ni Damien doon. Now, ito yung mga data set na after ibigay, after nung 8 weeks, binigyan sila ng mga bata ng DRP test. At ito yung mga results noong uh, 
test no or non test na yon dun sa treatment at saka sa control group. So ang kailangan natin dun sa formula na ginamit na pinakita ko kanina sa step number 3, kailangan natin yung mga mean and standard deviation noong dalawang samples. So yun yung gagawin natin. But first, kailangan natin tingnan kung uh, skewed ba or normally distributed yung ating mga samples kasi isa yun sa mga conditions ng ating hypothesis testing. So sa treatment group, kapag ka ginamitan natin siya ng box plot, makikita nyo na yung ating box plot is skewed to the left. So that means kailangan natin mag-proceed with caution kasi yung ating sample 1 or yung treatment group is slightly skewed to the left. Pero yung ating control group naman, yung kanyang... Uh, Distribution is approximately normal, pero kahit na approximately normal siya, since yung other treatment, yung other group is not normal, so we still need to proceed with caution. But to uh, and th and then to find our test statistic or yung mga numbers na kailangan natin sa ating test statistic, kailangan natin gumamit ng calculator para mahanap yung mean at standard deviation ng bawat group. So yung first group, yung ating x bar or yung uh, average score doon sa 21 or sa yeah, sa 21 na students is 51.48 points with a standard deviation of 11. At doon naman sa control group, ang ating average score is 41.52 mula doon sa 23 students with a standard deviation of 17.5. Now since alam na natin yung mga values na kailangan natin para sa ating test statistic, magagamit na natin yung ating test to see if i-reject re natin or hindi natin i-reject re yung null hypothesis. Now, going back to our hypothesis test, yung step 1 and step 2 sa conditions, kailangan natin isulat na yung uh, selection natin ng mga estudyante eh hindi na-state kung siya ay randomly selected. So, you need to write it down in your condition. Pangalawa, yung ating treatment group para uh, sa, o yung kanyang box plot doon sa treatment group is slightly skewed, kaya kailangan din natin siyang isulat para sa conclusion natin later on. Now, yung sample is independent, but we still need to proceed with caution kasi two of the three conditions were not satisfied. Now, to proceed to our Next step, which is performing the one-step t-test using the formula, ipa-plug in na lang natin yung mga values na nakita natin kanina. So, yung test statistic natin will be t equal to um, mean sub 1 minus mean sub 2 all over the square root of um, standard deviation squared all over n1 plus standard deviation squared ng sample 2 all over n sub 2, giving us 51.48 minus 41.52 all over the square root of 11 squared all over 21 plus 17.15 squared all over 23. Now using your calculator, your t value will give you 2.375. So in step number 4 natin is to find our P value. At sa p value natin, kailangan natin ngayong gamitin yung ating calculator using T statistics. So here, yung ating P value at T greater than 2.375 will give us 0 0.0114 with a degrees of freedom of 37.84. Now, again, itong mga numbers na to ay makukuha natin kapag ginamit natin yung ating calculator to help us get the P value. At tandaan natin yung alpha na gagamitin natin mamaya sa ating conclusion will be 0 0.05. So to summarize well, our steps, ito yung ating uh, hypotheses. Kailangan natin um, mag-proceed with caution kasi some of the conditions were not satisfied. Ito yung ating mga Z, P, degrees of freedom, at saka yung alpha of 0 0.05. Now since yung P value nyo is less than 0 0.05, pwede natin i-reject yung null hypothesis. So in your conclusion, with a P value of 0 0.0114, which is less than alpha of 0 0.05, we have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis, which makes our test significant. Therefore, the new reading activity improved the student's reading ability. However, since some of the conditions are not satisfied, we, we have proceeded with caution.